What is up guys, this is Anthony, aka BadBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Nightmare Batman. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in the standard Mezco 112 Collective box, with the Batman v Superman logo at the center and the Mezco exclusive logo on the top right. Turning the box around, we can see an image of Nightmare Batman from the BVS movie. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here's Nightmare Batman out of the box. And man, what a great figure from Mezco. Every time I get a new 112 figure, I kind of feel like a giant kid again getting a new toy on Christmas Day. This Nightmare Batman is a piece that I have been waiting for for a very long time, like I know a lot of you have, and it was kind of scary knowing that this figure was actually cancelled for a while, but we got him on a Mezco Online exclusive and I am so stoked that I got my hands on him. He is an amazing figure with a beautiful sculpt, great paint, decent articulation, but really cool accessories. He's got amazing soft goods, and that coat is pretty badass. I am so stoked that I have this in my collection, and I cannot wait to check him out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at the accessories. So Batman does come with a decent amount of accessories. Starting off, he comes with three interchangeable head sculpts, his goggles, an assault rifle with a removable clip, a pistol, a bullet effect piece, and five interchangeable hands. And lastly, he does come with a circular base stand with the Batman v Superman logo printed atop. He also comes with a clear articulated arm that articulates at four points with the clip. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Nightmare Batman. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Nightmare Batman. Yay, new toys! New Mezco toys. I cannot begin to describe how stoked I am to finally have this guy in my collection. Uh, I've just been waiting on him for so long. Now some quick backstory. Uh, this figure was announced quite some time ago, uh, but it, it was announced that it was going to come out at uh, San Diego Comic Con one year. Then people got really hyped. Uh, the pants were like more of like a brownish color than, than they are like now like in a green. Um, there were some minor complaints, but then the figure actually got canceled and so many of us were completely butthurt. But then lo and behold, sometime last year, Mezco announced that they were going to release him just as a Mezco shop exclusive. So I'm so stoked that I have my Nightmare Batman because I really do love this design and I personally don't understand why so many people hate on the BVS movie. I personally enjoyed it quite a bit, uh, especially the uh, extended director's cut, you know. Uh, just such a good movie, in my opinion. I know a lot of people hate it. Some people consider it like, the most hated film in all the universe. Uh, I think that's stupid. I enjoyed it. I thought it was very, very cool. This scene was definitely one of the coolest scenes in the whole film, and I think Mezco just did such a stellar job capturing that look uh, and that design in the film in figure form. Uh, now I know we've had other versions from Mattel and Mayfex and things like that. Screw those. Mezco, dude, you guys are just freaking amazing. Thank you for this awesome Batfleck figure. This guy is so rad. So the head sculpts look fantastic. You see he does have the goggles on, uh, just like in the film. Those are clear, like, fogged up lenses. See if I can get my camera to focus a little bit. You can kind of see that a little bit. Uh, those are see-through actual, like, plastic, uh, clear plastic. So you can see that through his eyes. Uh, these do kind of come over his eyes just like that. So you can kind of pull those down, and those will fit over his actual eyes. So I'm so glad that we can actually do that with the figure and not just have them over the head like so. So I'm actually going to take those off while the, for, during the review. But everything looks awesome. You do got a scarf right there. I think that looks really well done. I uh, love the soft goods on that. I think it looks really cool. The bat uh, logo chest right there. I love how it actually has like bullet holes and some uh, some cuts and nicks and things like that on the actual logo itself. is pretty rad. Uh, it's not perfectly lined. You can see the lining of the suit doesn't exactly meet up with the logo itself, but it's not a big deal. The belt looks really cool. You can see it's really a uh, beat up and war torn. Uh, the gold or the you know the goldish color on the paint 
is a little scratched up and faded. It's because you can actually see he's seen some battle and whatnot. And that's because this is more of like a post-apocalyptic uh, type of Batman where... I guess um, Dark Side kind of took over the world and whatnot. The, the pants look really good. I like the cargo pants. Stitching looks really, really nice. I love how they did the knee pads. It's like this printed on technology where they just kind of print this like material directly onto the soft goods, which I think is really rad. Then you got this little side bandolier right here, little side holster. Nice paint on the, the straps and whatnot. All look very cool. I love that a lot. Nice, good detail on there. See some bat booty back there. It looks really cool. I love all the straps and whatnot going across for everything like that. I think that's pretty rad. Dig that. The boots look really good. Pretty sure those exact same boots we've seen with the other uh, BVS Batman. But the gloves look really cool because now these have they have these wraps around the arms like that. You can see this like green material. I'm not sure what that material is supposed to be, if anything. But it, uh, it does look pretty cool that we get that added detail like that. The coat is fantastic. I love this soft goods coat. Uh, very nice. It just feels thick. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. It's like a pleather type of material. Uh, there's not really any good inlining. The inlining is kind of blah, but it's, it's, I don't care. The stitch and all that looks very nice. You can see all these straps and whatnot. All the stitching throughout the entire thing looks really cool. Man, I just love this. I've been staring at this for the longest time and just posing them around and having a lot of fun with them and in my opinion, that's what really matters with toys, and I know we complain about every little thing, and you know something like, oh, if if his eye is a little crooked, then that just ruins everything for me. I don't, I'm not. I understand why people complain about a lot of things. Like you can see, like a loose thread right there. You know what I mean? It's like a loose thread right there. You know, people will complain like that so hard and demand a refund and demand a replacement figure, and I personally don't care if the figure's cool enough. I enjoy him for what he is. I still really enjoy uh, just uh, posing my toys around and really just not complaining. I don't fully understand that, but that's just me. But I think this looks so awesome, man. Mesco did such a good job. The collar looks fantastic. Dig that. Uh, there is wire in this cave that runs along the sides. Uh, and then the not so much in the bottom, but mostly just in the hem right here. So you can bend that around a little bit. Uh, get into some poses. You can see like that. You can fold it up. And it will hold for the most part. So I think it's pretty cool that the end of the little bendy, bendy, excuse me, bendy wire uh, in there to get him a little more flared cloak poses and whatnot. I think that's very cool. So good job, Mezco. What's really cool is that we do get some alternate heads. So this is the one that comes in the box. Uh, what's also cool about this, it is angry, so I think it's really rad. We get new head options. Uh, we also pop that off like so standard uh, Mezco peg. You can pop on this head. This is a standard, just pretty much uh, straight, serious looking uh, Ben Affleck face. Uh, head sculpt like that. It is the same one that we've seen with the original release or the standard release of BVS Batman, which is pretty cool. But I love the fact that we get this. Bam! Look at that. An actual Ben Affleck head. I think that's pretty rad. That is killer. I love the fact that it actually came with this. Now, I know a lot of people were like, nah, it doesn't really look like Ben Affleck. It doesn't really look like Ben Affleck. Nah, it's not exactly 100% like Ben Affleck. Like, Again, about that kind of stuff, I don't care. Like, it looks enough like Ben Affleck, you're like, oh my god, look at this Ben Affleck. Not like you people, some people think it's, it's it has to be 100% like perfect sculpt and whatnot. For this scale, that's almost impossible. And because for that scale, I think that's freaking amazing. And I enjoy it so much. I think, I do think personally, that looks like Ben Affleck. Uh, I think that just looks really cool. It does, in my opinion, again, it's not 100% perfect, but I think it looks enough like Ben Affleck to get the point across. And I just think that's a very cool looking uh, head sculpt. So, so awesome. But what I do enjoy about that, you can pop these off, and I'm going to bring in my other BVS Batman, or standard release. Now you can actually take this off and put on a Ben Affleck head just like that, because those alternate heads will also fit on your standard Batman figure. And, oh my god, I, I feel like that completes this look for Batman. So chances are, uh, I'm going to be displaying the Ben Affleck head with this Batman now on my display, because I, I feel like that's what this figure, particular figure needed uh, was a Ben Affleck head, uh, an unmasked head, and they gave it to us, and yes, that is stellar. Oh my gosh, thank you Mezco for rocking it, that is rad, definitely appreciate that. So very cool, I'm going to pop his head on because he's just headless here, so I'm going to put on that more uh, 
angry face, a more shouting face like that. Uh, so we do get a few interchangeable hands. We do got some trigger hands and gripping hands that you see that I already have on the figure. Uh, we do get some fists. All those look really nice. The sculpting on those is very nicely done. All the detail on the knuckles and whatnot and those green straps all looks very good. I dig that. And then we get this more open palm hand, which looks pretty cool. I dig that quite a bit. My only problem is I wish we came with two of these particular gripping, uh, these open palm hands like this. Uh, and we only technically got the one trigger hand. It's a little weird. Uh, you can get the, this hand to, to hold the guns, uh, but it's not exactly a trigger hand like that. You can see the trigger finger is not out like this one is. So I kind of wish we could put like a hand like this in this hand so you can do some uh, two-handed poses with the rifle. It's a little weird that we didn't get that, a hand for that side. So uh, it's a little disappointing. Shame on Mezco, but eh, it's not a big deal in my opinion. So again, he does come with his pistol, which I think is very cool. It's a very nice looking pistol. If I can get my camera on it like that. I think it looks really cool. Nicely detailed with that wooden handle and whatnot. Uh, this does not cock back like some pistols, and it does not have the removable magazine in there. So that's a little weird. I don't know why. Um, I think this is probably an entirely different sculpt because of that handle like that. But I'm so used to having the removable clips. Uh, and this doesn't have it, so it's a little weird that he doesn't come with that. So, a little odd, but again, not a deal breaker. So you can actually hold this in either of these hands, really. Uh, this particular hand, the right hand right here, is more of a trigger hand like that. You just fit the finger through, and it holds on there really nice and tight. So I do like that quite a bit. And we also do got a little holster here, like I showed off earlier. It holds right into that, just like so. And that's not going in there, that just stays in there. Again, just very cool. Dang, man. I, I love Mezco, the 112 collect collection so much. This really is my dream toy line, and every time I get a new figure, I just fall in love with it so much. I have a lot of fun with my toys, man. I really, really do dig this. And then his assault rifle is pretty rad. Check this out. Really nice sculpt on the entire thing. I dig that quite a bit. The sculpting on it looks fantastic. The paintwork is incredible. Uh, this actually does have the removable uh, magazine like that, and you can see the bullets in there. So that's pretty cool. But I like the fact that it has this wrapping around the barrel like that. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what that material is supposed to be from, if there's any significance or whatnot, but I love how it has like this uh, electrical tape or uh, masking tape, whatever kind of tape it is, whatever. Uh, but that looks really cool, the nice silver paint apps on that. And I love the fact that it has the Joker card on there, which is pretty insane that it has that on there. That's really, really cool. So awesome and attention to detail. And again, you can hold that in this uh, gripping hand right here with a trigger finger. Uh, now, it does not hold perfectly as much as I'd like. I don't know if that's a defect or whatnot. But as you can see, the fingers on the uh, hand right here don't exactly grip the gun properly. And you could hold it just fine. You could pose them around. You won't even notice. But I mean, since I'm reviewing, I kind of have to notice these little small things. But it does not grip the uh, the handle as well as I'd like. So it's a little weird, um, but it's not a big deal in, at all. Uh, one thing I do like is we also get this bullet effect. Now this bullet effect, bullet effect is pretty cool because we've seen this before with the Punisher figure. Uh, you can actually put it in the barrel of pretty much any gun from any Mezco figure. And you can just stick that in there and then you got that bullet effect to make it look like you're shooting an actual bullet out of there, which is pretty cool. But it's a little weird that we haven't gotten this bullet uh, more often in other figures, which is a little weird because I figured this should have came with this only we've only seen it before with the Punisher uh, And then we haven't seen it since now since so with Nightmare Batman This should have came with like Deadpool and Deathstroke and all these other characters with like guns and whatnot Even Red Skull would have been cool to have this but we didn't and that's a little weird So but I guess we got another one now, so that's pretty cool So very awesome Mezco. You're doing such a good job over there uh, so let's take a look at the articulation a bit, because the articulation is a little hindered, and, uh, and that's mostly because of the trench coat. Here it hinders the arm movement a little bit, but for the most part it's still pretty decent. So the head is on a ball joint, it does roll around like so, lots of good motion in there. Rotate up about that far, which is pretty nice, down about that far, pivot side to side. Arms can go up uh, about that much, not too far up, uh, down and out like that, which is pretty good. There is a slight butterfly joint in there. It works out pretty decent for the most part. We got double, double jointed elbows that work pretty nice. Rotation at the 
glove right here, as well as rotation at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. We got a double ball peg in the torso. Now you guys got to roll it around like so. It does turn left and right, pivot side to side, crunch forward uh, about that far back, about that much. We got hip joints that kick forward about not far, not too, too great. It is hindered up by these pants a little bit. Uh, back about that far. Can do the splits fairly decent for the most part, so that's pretty funny. Rotation in that upper thigh. We got double, double joint and knees are pretty good for the most part. Rotation at the boot. Ankle joints as they point the toe up and down. Rotate and a slight ankle rocker. So articulation is a little hindered in some areas. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but it is understandable uh, when it comes to figures with soft goods and whatnot. So I'm not in, you know, I'm terribly shocked by it, especially with the thickness of that leather uh, coat and whatnot. I kind of half expected it. So, but overall, it's still an amazing figure. If you were lucky enough to grab one from the Mezco site before they sold out uh lucky you because this guy is already reaching high prices upwards to a couple hundred dollars and more but he's so awesome and if you can find him i highly recommend him especially if you want to complete your bat uh, collection from mezco and whatnot in my opinion this is the definite best version of nightmare batman in this scale so if you can find him i highly suggest picking him up because he is definitely a must get so for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Mezco comparison, here he is standing next to the Mezco 112 Collective Armored Batman and Standard BVS Batman. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the 112 Collective BVS Superman figure. And for your Batman comparison, here he is standing next to the Mattel Nightmare Batman. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Nightmare Batman. Now overall, I just think this is one killer action figure. I am so proud that I have it in my collection. The 112 Collective line is honestly one of my favorite toy lines to date. It is amazing. This figure's got great sculpting, great paint, beautiful soft goods, and I love his accessories. That assault rifle is very cool with a Joker card. I love the fact that we're getting the bullet effect piece, and the wired coat is just insanely cool, and I'm so glad that they did that. If you're looking to round out your BVS collection, then this piece is definitely a must get. And if you're a giant fan of the Mezco 112 Collective line, head over to Facebook and join my group, the Mezco 112 Collective Collectors, for all kinds of Mezco goodness. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.